Hi, I'm David Schönholm, and this is the 399th edition of Done. Today's episode is about how to more easily clean up your inbox. But first, last week I found a way to automatically add time buffers between meetings so that you avoid having many meetings back to back in a stressful work schedule. In a short and freshly published video on my YouTube channel, I show you how. Search for my name on YouTube and you'll find it. Many of us work more or less completely digitally. Paper is almost passé to those who do. But they still cannot seem to escape the piles. They are still there, but in a slightly different format. The wooden desk is empty, but the computer desktop is beyond crowded with documents. Many have a multitude of things to do, spinning in their minds which need to get done, only not right now. And then we have emails. The inbox can be filled to the brim with emails and the list of correspondence so long that it takes you minutes to scroll through. Every day we do all kinds of things in many different contexts to try to reduce the different piles. We make calls, we formulate, send, book, gather and more to cross as many things as possible from the pile of to-do tasks. We clean out unnecessary documents from the computer desktop. We take out the receipts and notes from last week's business trip and scan them into the computer so that we don't have to keep them in their physical form. We answer some emails and then again we begin calling, formulating, sending and so forth all over again. The circle can seem hopeless since it feels as if none of these piles ever will disappear. Will we ever be finished? Probably not. But with quite simple means we will be able to feel caught up now and then, and this is a feeling well worth the effort to strive for. Let's talk about the email inbox, because many I meet experience it as somewhat of a constant irritating inconvenience. If we resist the temptation to save and store our emails in the inbox where we are meant to only look for new emails, we will feel caught up on a regular basis. By not doing this, we automatically reduce the pile of emails and feel at least a little lighter. You have unquestionably heard this advice before, but you might still tend to leave emails laying about in the inbox, and for a significant amount of time too. The reason probably being one of the following. The email is unread. The email or what it concerns is unsolved. The email is read and sold, but you find no reason to move it. Let's, for the sake of symmetry, say that you are reluctant to put it somewhere else. In all three cases, we can do something about it. Do this. Take a look at your inbox right now. If there are emails that are both read and sold, move them somewhere else. For example, to a folder called archive, if you need to keep them at all. If there are emails that are read, but which are still not sold, formulate what you need to do to solve them and make note of the resulting to-do task where you keep other things you have not sold yet. This can be in the place where you keep your to-do tasks or where you have got an overview of the more extensive tasks that need to be solved, and which take more than a day to complete. Move or throw away the unsolved emails. The email inbox is not the place to monitor your tasks. This is preferably done in a place or tool where you can see everything at once, for example, your to-do list. If there are unread emails, read them the next time you go through your inbox. Solve them instantly or write down what you need to do in order to solve them and then move them somewhere else other than the inbox. And that's it. It's not very hard after all. Because if you do something about your habit of leaving emails in the inbox, even though you have read them, you will feel caught up more often. Instead of having this pile hanging over you, you will conquer it again and again. How do you quickly and swiftly deal with the piles that tend to build up? Write to me and tell me, because I want to learn more tricks regarding how to take control of our life at work. You will reach me by emailing david at stjernholm.com and I look forward to hearing from you. If someone close to you, in private or at work, would be happy to know how to master the email inbox, tell them about the trick here. Because the more of us working in a structured way, the easier our working days get. Thank you for listening to this edition of Done, and welcome back next week. 